Blessings! It is an honor to connect with you once again. Thank you for tuning into the video. My name is Heather and I am the energy behind the activation vibration. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about my perception of religion as well as how I identify spiritually. Now, I'm doing this video because I actually get asked this quite often. What religion are you? What do you practice? What do you believe in? What's true? Now, first of all, I would like to start by saying that whatever is true for you is truth. So perhaps my truth is not resonant with you, therefore it's not your truth, it's not true to you. But my truth is absolutely true to me. So everyone has their own individual spiritual beliefs. All of them are valid, yes, yes, all of them are valid. Because if you believe something to be true, then it is true because we are creating our own realities. So if you don't believe that angels are real, then angels are not real to you. They, they will most likely not appear to you if you truly believe that they are not real and don't allow them into your field. However, they could still come into your field because I actually didn't believe in Jesus Christ and Yeshua appeared to me. So I will get into that. And I've actually discussed that in another video. If you were curious of my specific connection with actual like energetic entities and deities like angels and cosmic guides and so on, then I actually created a video on it and I will link it below as well if you're interested. Um, but I definitely need to make an updated version of that as well because I've experienced some pretty unexplainable um, epic spiritual phenomena even from that where I have been completely opened to an entirely new field of energetic energies and assistance from higher realms so all of that is still very valid but there's a lot more now that's in my field so that alone actually gets me started so Personally, I don't believe in confining myself with any label or identification of a spiritual practice because I actually don't fully resonate with any one. I resonate with a lot of them. I resonate with a lot of different aspects of a lot of different religions and practices. So I've pretty much just extracted what has resonated with me on a soul level and I've compiled it to create my own little type of religion. However, I don't classify myself as religious. I identify myself as an infinite being therefore I can't be identified but I connect with a lot of spiritual practices and a lot of specific things that are practiced in actual religions. I also observe that as time goes on my perception and who I am channeling and who I am connecting with and the practices and rituals that I am doing often change throughout different phases of my life. So in some times of my life, I'll feel really, really called to just be in Zen meditation and just be practicing Buddhism in a sense where I'm meditating and I'm chanting and I'm just being very still. Other times in my life, I will feel really called to connect with angelic beings and I will be praying and meditating to angels and doing angel meditations as well as angelic light body healings and inducing and invoking that energy within my being. Other times I feel really called to spell work where I'm just like journaling, journaling, journaling and creating all these affirmations and chanting these affirmations which are essentially spells because our words spelling, spelling, we are creating spells with every word that we say. And in other times I'll feel really called to the elements and I will do rituals and practices with water and fire and the moon phases and do full moon rituals and new moon rituals and whatever phase the moon is in ritual. So I really fluctuate between different things based on where I'm at in my personal journey and how I'm feeling and what's occurring. And I find this to be true with quite a lot of people where they really resonated with Christianity and now they feel called to be Buddhist or where someone resonated a lot with atheism and now they're talking to God. So this changes for everyone in every phase of their life. So I would say that the number one thing is to not confine yourself to any one way or one way of being. Because as we evolve, 
different tools and different energies are more beneficial to us in that specific phase where we're at in that journey. Also, based on your specific soul contract and your DNA makeup and your personal purpose and mission, different practices and rituals and beliefs will feel more resonant to you in different times based on the contract in which you are fulfilling, based on your soul agreement, based on whatever is beneficial at that time for you to continue to evolve and develop new pathways and channel new energies and be more receptive to your own personal power and energy. So ultimately, all of these things, all of these practices and beliefs, they lead you back to yourself, always. I personally believe that everyone is God individually. I believe that I am my own God and I house God in every cell of my being. And overall, I do feel that that God energy is source. So I refer to it as source and I believe that all of these different practices and all of these different energetic beings and energies and entities and deities, I do believe that all of these are derived of the same collective source. So essentially, everything is one, everything is the same, and it is all God presence. If it exists with the intention of the light and joy and bliss and love and gratitude, then it is God, then it is what we were derived of, it is what we are actually made of. So these different individual expressions exist because they all have different imprints, they have different characteristics and different qualities that are beneficial for different people based on who and what they are and what they're here to serve and also where they're at on their personal journey. So again, I incorporate all that resonates with me and personally I have been exposed to quite a lot of different spiritual and religious beliefs, practices, and rituals. So I have been to a Christian church and a Catholic church and a Greek Orthodox church. However, I don't necessarily resonate with the way that it's set up or the way that it's really practiced. I really resonate more with um, being your own power and being your own God and therefore practicing different techniques and rituals that invoke that energy within self. So I have been to churches before, but I wasn't raised in the church at all. I never went to a Bible study and have only now recently connected again with the Christ energy. And the Christ energy, the Christ consciousness, is very, very different than the Jesus Christ energy that is depicted in Christian and Catholic religion. So that's definitely something to be aware of. As I got older, at seven years old, I was introduced to Buddhism. I was pretty much raised for five years by a babysitter who was Buddhist and she taught us, me and my sister, how to meditate and how to chant. This was really profound for me because I've actually continued to meditate since I was seven and just evolved my practice obviously over the years in meditation sometimes i'll do silent meditations sometimes i feel called to chanting meditations sometimes i feel called to guided meditations or physical meditations i pretty much aim to be in a meditative state at all times as well so there's that so yeah i really really enjoy buddhism and i've actually studied quite a lot on buddhism as i got older and it really made sense as to why it had been introduced to me as a young child because carrying that energy and carrying that knowledge and that practice of meditation with me over my years has been very significant and really helped me along my journey I've always felt really connected to godly, spiritual, angelic energies because I actually saw luminous angels in physical form growing up and then they ended up coming back 
now more recently in my life and I've been able to like connect with them and communicate with them more. So I've had a significant presence of angels in my life and I work with angels quite often whenever I do healings or when I'm doing healings on myself or whenever I just need help or assistance or I just like feel like connecting or even just giving gratitude to the angels because the angels are always helping us and always with us as long as you believe in them. And yeah, so I've always really, really, really resonated with angels and I love angels and I'm so, so grateful for them. As I got older, I started to connect more with the elements. So air and water and fire. And I started connecting with the Native American traditions. So I've actually practiced a lot of different Native American traditions and really, really, really resonate with those as well. And I still incorporate them in my life today. I also felt really called to doing spell work. Now, some people would classify this as paganism, but I didn't ever classify or identify with paganism because I pretty much was only attracted to utilizing elements, earth elements, the sun as God, and air and water and fire and its power and earth and like grounding and plants and herbs. So I've utilized those as energies to invoke God and to do spell work as well. Just basically creating positive affirmations and writing them out and saying them aloud. So I never really resonated with it as a religion, but it is one of the practices that I utilize today. I also connect a lot with different deities, Indian deities, Egyptian deities, Celtic deities, all types of different angels and fairies and goddesses and gods. I love calling upon these energies because I feel them very profoundly and very potently. So I also utilize their energy when I do healings on people or when I am channeling or when I am just desiring to feel some connection or support from the higher realms. And the really cool thing is different deities hold different energies. So some deities I call upon for creativity, some I call upon for protection or for cord cutting or for assistance or for information or for psychic vision or for whatever it is, there are different deities that hold different energies based on the characteristics in which they express. I have a really strong starseed lineage and I probably resonate the most, the most of the most with cosmic energy. I do resonate a lot with earthly energies here because I am uh, manifested into physical form apparently, but I connect even more with cosmic energies and I've felt the presence of cosmic guides, extraterrestrials, since I was little and in the past six years they've been coming through very tangibly, very visually, very audibly to me and I've been connecting with different starseed lineages and they have helped me to channel the information in which I share with you today day. They also provide me a lot of my psychic visions. I get a lot of my psychic information, like my energy updates, all from cosmic beings. So they're the ones that I really, 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 really resonate with, at least in this phase in my life. Movement is also a spiritual practice. So being a yogi, I also resonate with my body being God, my body being a conduit of God. So in order to channel my God presence through my body, I believe that it is through movement. So practicing yoga and running even can be a spiritual and a godly practice if you set the intention for it to be so and you imagine it being so. Yoga is a meditation and yoga is pretty much being present and aware of your physical and energetic body while also utilizing your breath to circulate energy through you and movement. So if you are in a meditative state where you are consciously aware and present just throughout your day, then you're pretty much always doing yoga. And I like to utilize yoga if I'm ever feeling like out of body. So if I'm feeling like I'm too much in the higher realms, then that's when I will channel my practice of yoga and I will bring my energy back to my body and I will ground in. So it's a really powerful spiritual practice if you do feel a little bit ungrounded. Definitely try yoga. I also believe that nature is God. Nature is absolutely God because God is nature, expressed in every tree, in every leaf, in the ground, in the air. Again, just like as the elements are God, nature, every aspect of nature is also God. 
even the natural disasters that occur like tornadoes and tsunamis and earthquakes. I believe that God presence is also translating and communicating through those energies because sometimes we gotta shake some shit up in order to get back into alignment, you know? It's kind of like the formula, apparently. So yes, hopefully this video has been helpful to give you some new perspectives and perhaps challenged some of your perspectives. Remember that whatever your truth is, is absolutely true for you and this is absolutely my truth. And I would like to just liberate you from thinking that you need to be any one religion for your whole life and you can't change. You are an infinite being and your desires and habits and purpose has shifted from years ago and it will continue to shift years from now. It could even be shifting a week from now, moments from now, in the next hour. So don't limit yourself by identifying yourself with any one thing and trying to just stick yourself into this box of I am this religion and that's it forever. Unless you feel called to do that. <gasps> So many blessings to you. I would love to hear your take on religion and spirituality and what you personally identify with in the comments below. Blessings to you always. Namaste.